John Goodman's coming! Welcome to Near Human Intelligence. Ryan, we saw 10 Cloverfield Lane. What did you think? Could have been better. 10 Cloverfield Lane. A movie that we thought would be somehow related to the original Cloverfield. Were we uh, mistaken? Maybe. Were we disappointed? Maybe a little bit at the end, but overall, I quite enjoyed the movie. Was that real? Overall, I thought the movie was really good, and watching it, you're kind of getting like scared in the theater because it's really loud, and when something happens, you just you're almost like jumping out of your seat, thinking it's like insane. And even after coming out of the movie theater, you like feel like something's gonna happen to you, and you just want to get to your car quickly and get there's, out of there. There's this sense of paranoia once the movie's over because it ends on a cliffhanger, and it's like you're right in the middle of the action when it ends, and when you're walking out of the theater, when we saw it, the theater was kind of empty. It was like the first showing, opening night. So there was not too many people there. And uh, yeah, I don't know. There's this weird, like, just disturbing nature of walking out of the theater into a pretty quiet parking lot with an empty sky. and It just felt like you needed to stay in the movie theater to survive. Something so we like got that. to our car as fast as we could, and we booked it home. 10 Cloverfield Lane is a film about a girl named Michelle who is in a car accident and wakes up in a fallout shelter where a man named Howard is telling her that the world above is not livable. Everyone above ground is dead. The air is toxic. And the only safe people, or perhaps the only living people in the world, are in that bunker. Trouble is, we don't know if Howard's telling the truth. And in Cloverfield, we see this big, scary monster outside who we obviously know something's out there. So we got to think, he, Howard's probably right. There's something out there that he's trying to keep her away from. But on the other hand, there, he could be Lying. trying to get with that. We don't know what his intentions are for abducting this girl. Uh, and in the original Cloverfield, the air wasn't toxic. So obviously there's this aspect of disbelief. You know, we know from the original Cloverfield there's big monster attacking, and in this version he's telling us that the air is toxic. What's going on? Can we believe this guy? John Goodman is Howard in this movie, and he does a fantastic job. I am legit afraid yeah. of John Goodman he's from this point forward. Like one of the scariest people I've ever seen, I think, from this just like not even wearing a mask or anything he's like any Sully. other character. He's, he's just Sully the friendly monster from Monsters Inc. But in this movie, he's a whole different kind of monster. He's the kind of monster that you do not want coming out of your closet. He literally his skin forms a frown in his face twenty four seven. It's really scary. On the other hand, there's Michelle, played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who is a fantastic character. Uh, I probably liked her even more than I like John Goodman, because like I said, I was afraid of John Goodman, but you're rooting for uh Michelle the entire movie. And as far as, like, strong female characters go and stuff, I think she's she's probably even better than, like, Furiosa or Rey because Furiosa and Rey are not girls. They're, like, warriors. They're formed by the uh, world that rolls around them. But Michelle comes from the real world. She's a fashion designer. She's having troubles with her life with her fiancé or, or husband, whoever it is. Uh, you know, she's a girl, but she's a fighter. She never gives up. She's cunning. She, like, figures out what's going on all, all by herself. And but... She, I would have to do, disagree with you on like my favorite character. I would have to say John Goodman was my favorite character. This is like the really the first movie for me that I've ever seen him in, and he is just freaking awesome in this movie. He's he's weird looking, he's awesome. crazy looking. He's insane, and it just it brings the whole movie together, and I think it made it perfect. So overall, we thought this movie was pretty, pretty freaking awesome. awesome. But Ryan, how could it have been better? We're about to spoil it. Spoil it! Spoil it! So from this point forward, we're going to discuss some major spoilers. This movie has nothing to do with the original Cloverfield. At all. That does not make it a bad movie. However, with the name Cloverfield in the title, why not connect it to the original Cloverfield? You're, You're Mary expecting to see it, but nothing at all. When Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Michelle, leaves the bunker... There are aliens attacking. And it's quite an epic scene. The the scene where she's fighting the aliens, and she does fight the aliens. She destroys the aliens. Uh, when that scene happens, it's intense. It's crazy. You don't think she's going to survive, but you want her to. And she does, and it's amazing. But if you're going to have aliens attacking anyway, Just why not put the monster in? The Cloverfield monster. It would have been a fine connection. I think it would have made the movie a lot better, because we're all expecting to see the monster when she comes out. And I don't think anybody would be disappointed by that. Like, that's right. a spoiler in itself. Like, okay, it's called Cloverfield, and Cloverfield monster's going to be there. That's not going to disappoint anybody. When we see it, we're all going to cheer, but it's some other kind of alien. 
and why leave us hanging with this ending? Like, I the movie was kind of short. I think an hour and forty four, forty five minutes. I think it was really well paced. Right, but I'm saying they could have even made it longer and showed us what happens next. Because really, after seeing those aliens and knowing that it's not the Cloverfield monster, you're thinking, "Come on, there's got to be something else. There's got to be you know a giant mother, sh- you know, ship in the middle of it or something huge that you're just waiting for, and it's not there." And you're kind of disappointed at the ending. It definitely looks like it could be leading into some sort of sequel, but uh, seeing as how this was looking like it was a sequel to the original Cloverfield, who knows what's going to happen in the third movie? So, Jake, what was your favorite part? This was my favorite part. Ryan, guess who I am? I've got a big belly. You John Goodman? No. Uh, I've got a jolly old laugh. You John Goodman, right? No, you're getting there. Uh, ho, ho, ho! It's John Goodman. You're Santa Claus! So guys, every time we review a movie, we're going to be putting up a picture on this bulletin board right here. To honor our favorite characters of the movie. Ryan, would you do the honors? Of course. In the end, you're going to have a love-hate relationship with this movie. There's a lot to love and a lot that is not going to be quite what you expected. But I think when you sit back, give it a, time, give it a moment of, of thought, you're going to like the movie. So guys, that is 10 Cloverfield Lane. Thanks for watching. We are near human intelligence. Subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Leave some comments below. Let us know how you liked the movie. If you were disappointed by the uh, the random ending, maybe you liked it better this way. Maybe you wanted to tie into Cloverfield a little bit more. See you around. Huh? Do 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 do.